Over the last nine months, Charlie and I and a multitude of other people have been working on this phenomenal project. And it is the largest suspension grid system in the world that actually rises and lowers and can create a multitude of effects for meeting planners, which is actually right now the rage amongst meeting planners about this new facility and all that it can provide them. It is a, certainly a great opportunity for us from a sales point. We've already booked numerous events coming in even before the system is available and open. And uh, we really look forward to the flexibility and competitive edge that we will have with this new system. So we're going to give you a, a sneak preview of what others are going to see here shortly. And we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. So here we are inside the arena. As you can tell, it's a pretty massive project. The grid system itself is in nine pieces, which can be lowered to the floor and taken out independently, and, or it can be taken out in sections. This grid system was developed so that our north end stage could be lowered, disconnected, spun around, and raised up to this end so we could do major concerts at the other side. Also, if you take a look around, you can see our curtain system. Our curtain system is independent, so each one can go up or down depending on the type of event we have. So if you want to block some seats, we can do that for our clients. We have over 400 lighting fixtures on the curtains and on the truss itself. As you can see, uh, we can do pinpoint lighting and we do a wide variety of lighting schemes for our clients. One important thing to remember is that this is the first of its kind in the world. And the reason is because the truss will can fly down to five feet, which gives our stage hands and our riggers the ability to work at ground level and make it easier and less labor intense for our clients. Also, you can see it's a tension grid. It is a catwalk, OSHA approved catwalk, where our riggers can work on top of the catwalk and walk on the system. As a convention center, we have one ballroom. It's approximately 22,000 square feet. This is double that size. So this has given us a larger capacity to go after larger groups. So any meeting planner, any special event planner can create the type of event, venue, and experience that they want their attendees to enjoy. That's the beauty of this space is it's entirely customizable. We can drop the curtains and create what we're calling the Pacific Ballroom. So when the curtains are dropped, the special event space can be utilized from anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 people, even, even nudging up to five. But the nice thing is, in today's environment, some groups that aren't going to sell out to a 13,000 seat can still, in essence, sell out because there is no visual sight line of empty seats. The space also has its own sound system, and it's a system designed by Rankus Hines. It's what they call an intelligent sound system. So it actually detects where the audience is, and it can be adjusted so that the audience has the full effect or full impact. It is so advanced that our uh, stagehands can walk the floor and hear and actually on the iPod do the mix on their iPad instead of doing it from a mix board that you used to see in a typical concert setup. From the dream, the envisionment, it's been about a two-year process, which actually is very quick in commercial terms. Obviously, you want to surround yourself and hire the best people for it, and that's what Charlie and I worked really hard to do. Steve and Charlie and Ray and all of them had, had this vision, and we felt that the tension grid was the best way of achieving that vision. It's airplane wires, two inches on center each way, and the great aspect of it is that you can shine a light through it and only blocks 5% of your light flux. So that's why it's flexible. You can put a light a theater light anywhere you want and this is the largest one in the United States and the only one that that does fly up and down giving you flexible lighting positions and flexible sound positions. The challenge was again implementing uh, a vision that no one's ever thought of before and uh, bringing it to reality. To get this project uh, into reality we had to test the uh, existing structural system in the arena and I had the uh, fortunate pleasure of crawling up into the attic hanging from steel beams and watching uh, the steel workers cut samples out of the steel to test them. So it was, it was quite interesting uh, to see that. That was a challenge. Most other cities can't move that quickly and that is why this is the first in its kind. There is no other arena that has been additionally purposed or created in such a way, and this is just breathing a new life or more life into this complex. And other cities will be doing the same at some point. We just got there earlier. Wednesday evening, we will have a series of, of entertainment, taking us deeper into the arena with curtains being lifted, unveiling a next act. 
And so this is going to be our chance to show how the space can be used the way it was designed, in half, in full, using just the lobby. It truly is going to be a showcase for the city, a showcase for the building, but also a memorable evening. And after Wednesday night, there are no doubts that there will be even more business coming because of this facility. Thanks for joining us here at the Sky Transformation event here at the Pacific Ballroom at the Long Beach Arena. We are here to witness the unveiling of the newly remodeled arena that includes a suspended lighting system, one of the most innovative in the country, then an arena that seats up to 19,000 all the way down to 1,000 people. We have community figures from all across Long Beach in the house tonight. Everybody's here, fun, food, entertainment. We're all about to go in and see the show here at the Pacific Ballroom Live Arena, and you're going to see it all here on PadNet TV. Well, we're here with our two visitors from Sweden, came all the way to sunny California. We are here at the Sky Transformation event, the Pacific Ballroom in Long Beach. So tell me, what are you guys expecting to see tonight? Uh, something big, because we have some intel information that is going to be huge. So I hope that it will be as huge as our expectations. This space looks like you could do anything from a, a sit down to a, a reception as yeah. we're having tonight. The, the entrance was spectacular. Um, you had the skateboarders out there uh, doing their thing, you had dancers come in. The red carpet was just amazing. You walk in to refreshments right off the bat. The glitz, the crowd, the beautiful lobby, um, the staffing was really quite yeah. impressive, Definitely. you know? So what do you feel that the Pacific Ballroom will do for the city of Long Beach? Well, from my understanding is that there is nothing like it in the United States, wow. along with the convention center. Uh, there are facilities that are changeable, but they're not necessarily in a, a convention center, and that's what this is. So we're going to have conventioners wanting to be part of this wonderful facility. This in the water can't beat it. I think it's already created a buzz and an action and excitement for the downtown area. So I think it's going to give one more reason for conventions and visitors to come to Long Beach. So it's going to be exciting. When you have something like this that you can wrap your arms around and say, you know what, this is ours. Uh, we're proud of it and we're proud of uh, Steve Goodling, the entire uh, Visitor and Conventions Bureau and everybody who has been involved in this project because now as we're loving it, we can share it with people outside the city yes. and bring start bringing more and more people into the city and show them what a great place this is. Three years ago, I had the privilege of watching TED, the TED conference, use our arena. And in watching how they use our arena with deploying curtains and lights and bringing in great furniture and creating great networking spaces, the vision was from TED, this is how the space could always be. So that our clients, as they come to Long Beach, could have the same networking opportunities in a first-class facility that they created for their attendees. Uh, this project is a great example of a public-private partnership. Uh, it's going to keep Long Beach at the forefront of the industry for many years to come. It also is going to help us to compete in an environment where uh, the convention space industry is vastly overbuilt. Wall Street Journal recently estimated that the industry is overbuilt by 35%. So having a state-of-the-art facility is going to help keep Long Beach uh, out in front. We are taking three steps forward in the event industry just for this facility in the back. We are showing the world how to do it. And this is going to be copied, so they got to get, get moving fast on this. This is such an innovation that it is, it is going to be known as, a, as one of those cornerstones of what it means to have flexible space. I, I just want to say a little bit about this guy. This guy works really hard. He's done this from the beginning, scratching and clawing to get money for his kids. He's done a great job, and I can't think of a better a better place to put this, right? $23,000 for my kids. Thank you. Here's how it's going to work. This is Act 1. It's over. Act 2 will be as we welcome you inside, and you see a part of the arena. Act three is when we have spectacular entertainment, and act four is the post party where you boogie woogie and don't go home. 
So right now we're headed into the Pacific Ballroom here at the Long Beach Arena. Everybody's crowding in. They just had an amazing performance. All the speakers and organizers from the community coming in. You see the smoke machines are going. The lights are already moving. I'm sweating. Hopefully I'm not sweating too bad. But we're walking in. We're going to keep it and see what they have to offer. It's so exciting. You can feel the energy. It's amazing. So come on in and see what we have to offer. This is like the Taj Mahal, man. Yeah. You know, you talk about New York, this is Long Beach. Yeah. This is bigger than big. This is something we've always needed. You know, they talk about old folks town. Mm -hmm. This is a town where everybody can enjoy themselves. Yeah. This is Steve Goodland has put something together in his staff. I don't think nobody else is gonna be able to top this. This is beautiful, man. We need this for Long Beach. So what do you feel that this uh, event space will do for the city of Long Beach? Well, it'll bring a lot more people here because first of all, it's more space. Second of all, you can do a lot of things in this space we couldn't do before. There's probably nowhere else like this in the country. And that, that is the case. So you can divide this room. The lighting can be changed. The curtains all around the seating. You can do almost anything in this event space. You've got an acre of area here to do it in. I already imagine like a New Year's Eve party going on here. That would be awesome, right? You know, that is a great idea. Are you dancing tonight? I, I may get to that. I, I will see you there on the All floor. Right. Thank you for your Thank time. You. It gives them the ability to triple or quadruple their business in this room. Yeah. So they published that they've already booked 27 million in uh, you know in advanced sales essentially on the use of the room. I think that's without the room being open and without any actual pictures of it. Yeah. So I think as soon as people come in, experience the vibe, I think it's cool. So I think you know Southern California hasn't seen anything like this. They just dropped the curtains after the layers show, revealed this next level of the inside arena. There is live performance, you see tables everywhere, clean room for everything, simply amazing. Let's find out what people really think of this. Performing here at the Pacific Ballroom at the Long Beach Arena compared to performing at other venues. But it's cool because it's it's huge. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of people, so it's more exciting to perform in front of a lot of people. See the stones set in your eyes. See the foam twist in your
a group, groups and organizations that want to be dynamic and cutting edge. And those individuals will frequent our businesses and our restaurants and they'll stay in our hotels and that'll bring great tax revenue to the city. so many good assets here it's gonna up our tourism it's gonna get our visitors here it's gonna attract the kind of talent musicians and concerts that all generations will want to see yeah. and ultimately it's gonna raise our tax revenues and like I said it's gonna up our cool levels yeah Long Beach is like we know how, how cool Long Beach exactly. is but when we have something like this it's gonna get a lot of folks in here and everybody else is gonna see just how cool we are it's, it's gonna be the coolest city by the sea Catch you off guard when the curtain fell and they were yes. built. We were like, oh my god, where do we go next? We just moved forward with all the crowd, but it's so amazing because I was here in 1972 and saw Led Zeppelin, so it's a whole different way that they made it. It's awesome, it's beautiful. A group like TED, the TED Conference, yeah, yeah. they can come here and they can make this space into whatever they need it to be. They don't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to bring in all of the special effects, it's here. So they can spend all that money on hiring local talent, they can spend all that money on paying for food, and all that money stays in our local economy. And as the council member that represents this district, I'm so proud that Long Beach has this. This belongs to the whole city. Yeah.